Hey, if you've been looking for a fifth wheel that's under 30 feet long, stick around folks. We found three awesome floor plans. You got to check these out. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that no notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get started on our review of fifth wheels under 30 feet long. This fifth wheel is the Keystone Arcadia model number 246 SLRK. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 7,915 pounds a cargo carry capacity of 1,985 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 9,900 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,440 pounds, the length is 28 feet 6 inches, and it can sleep up to four people. When you first walk into this fifth wheel trailer on the right hand side and up the steps are where the bathroom and owner's bedroom are located, then we wrap on around through the living and kitchen areas. Now our first impression upon walking in here is you know, there's a certain wow factor to this fifth wheel. It feels really nice in here and they've really used the space very, very efficiently. And we'll show you that as we walk through here. Now, first of all, straight ahead here, you have this really nice built in with coat racks and a bench down below. And then up above here, you have some additional storage space. Right next to that, we have our theater seating here. This is in a great spot. It's in a slide out along with the kitchen refrigerator. So it really cre creates a lot of floor space inside this unit. Now the recliners in here are manual. So when you just pull the little switch, your legs come on out and you can sit back and relax. And in a few minutes, you'll see why these are in a really, really great spot inside this camper. Now there are a couple of cup holders here. And then on top, you can rest your phone on here and get it charged. Now, there is no center console here to put your remote controls away, but they solved that little problem with this drawer down below. Now, another feature that we look for in uh, any kind of sofa seating is either electrical outlets or USB plugs. And with this piece of furniture, it has some electronic controls on inside the armrest here. One is for heat, one is for a massage, but there's also a USB port in each of these side controls and there's also some lighting down below your feet. Now as we wrap on around through the kitchen area you have a nice size 12 volt refrigerator here. These are on compression or compressor motors. The great things with these are that they run on your battery and they get cold much faster than the old absorption style refrigerators. Right next to that we have a couple of pantry cabinets one up top and one down below for all your dry storage needs. And then behind me here, as we wrap into the kitchen itself, up top you have some open storage over top of your microwave oven. And then all of these cabinets are wide open inside with a built-in shelf for more storage. As we wrap on around, we've got a corner cabinet here that is contiguous with this cabinet over here. Now down below the cabinetry, we have a lot of countertop space in here, which is really fantastic. They have all kinds of knickknacks in here, but you know, I would probably have coffee maker, toaster, maybe an air fryer, crock pot, whatever. And there's a receptacle up under here so you can power all of those appliances. There's also windows around both sides of this kitchen, which is really fantastic. It lets in a lot of natural light. And then your sink, it features a double bowl rectangular sink with this very nice faucet overhead and there is no sprayer. As we move on across the countertop, there's also another outlet on this side. So if you wanna have a kitchen appliance here, you can certainly do that and plug it in. Then we have a three burner range and below that, a real oven in case you wanna cook a pizza or something along those lines. Down below your oven, you have a nice big drawer for all your pots and pans storage. Then. We have a bank of four drawers here for all your kitchen utensils. And then there's a really large cabinet under the sink for tons of storage and then some more storage on this side as well. Now this area of the kitchen is what really sets this fifth wheel apart, I think. There's no other fifth wheel design that I've seen quite like this where 
This serves really three different purposes. Number one, it is your dinette because there is no dinette in here. And there are a couple of chairs that come with it. So you can put those here and have a nice dinner and look out this nice big window when you do, which by the way is on the campsite. And so your view is gonna be of you know your campsite with your picnic table and fire ring and all that good stuff. Now, another feature of this area is you can use it for your entertainment area because it does have a televator that will rise up here. And remember a few minutes ago, I said the theater seats are in the perfect spot and that's because they are right across from where the televator is located. And then finally, when I saw this, I thought, you know, what a great little office space. You know, Susan and I work in our camper full time. And so this would be a perfect spot to set up your desk and work away during the day. Now overhead here, we have some open storage in the middle and then some cabinets on either side. And there's also a sound bar up here to give you great sound quality when you're watching your TV. On either end of the dinette area, there are cabinets down below on each side for additional storage. Now here we are towards the front of this fifth wheel in the owner's bedroom. We just came up the couple steps and walked up here. And this is a really nice setup here. We've got some cabinet doors up top with plenty of storage located behind them. They have a really nice headboard set up here. I like this very much because you have a shelf here that you can place things on. You have a couple USB ports in the middle, receptacles on each side. So you can charge all your electronic devices or even use a CPAP machine if you'd like. And that way you're all set with plenty of power to go. Each of the nightstands also has a door that open up below it for plenty of storage. Now, let's see what size bed we have going on here. Yep, this one's 80 inches long and 60 inches wide. So this would be considered a residential sized queen bed in here. And another nice feature with this bed is you can lift it up to access all of the storage underneath of the bed. Now, right behind me here is a slide out for your wardrobe closet, which by the way, has mirrored doors on it. Each of the doors open up and there's a bar that goes all the way across the entire length of this cabinet. So you can hang up all your garments in there. And then there are two drawers down below for additional storage. Now, just past the wardrobe cabinet is where your TV would mount on the wall. You can see that you've got an electrical receptacle, cable and satellite above. And so you can mount your TV and watch TV while you drift asleep at night. Now, here we are just outside the owner's bedroom in the bathroom, and it's a very good sized bathroom in here. I'm standing in the shower like I usually am, and the width of this shower is incredible. You know, it is four feet by just a little, a little over two feet, about 29 inches. So very good size shower in here. I like the surround that's built in here. It just looks really nice. There are three shelves in the corner for all of your soap and shampoo. And there's even a seat towards the back of the shower. So you can sit there if you need to, or you can put your foot up on the seat and shave your legs, ladies. Now, uh, the shower door itself is a beautiful glass door, which I really like. It has a very upscale and luxurious feel about it. Plus, you don't have to worry about a shower curtain blowing in on you and things like that. Now, outside of the shower, we have an oversized medicine cabinet here. It's got one shelf inside of it, but you can get all of your storage done in there. The vanity top itself is a very good size and the sink is pretty large as well. There's also an electrical outlet here so you can plug in your shaver, hair dryer, curling iron, what have you. Now down under the sink, there's a little bit of storage here and there are three drawers to stow away all your personal belongings. Now I almost forgot to pull out my tape measure in here while I'm standing in the shower and uh, the height in here up into the skylight, let's see what we have is six feet eight inches tall the rest of the ceiling in this part of the rv is about six feet four inches tall so depending on how tall you are you know this unit may work for you or not now outside of to the right of the shower there is a linen closet here where you can stow away all of your towels and sheets and all that good stuff and then finally when I'm sitting on the commode in here, even with the door closed, the bathroom is so big that it just feels nice and big in here. I'm not really gonna pass the elbow test, but this is a very big bathroom. Now at the very front of this fifth wheel, which is very, very typical, is a large pass-through storage area, complete with lights. This fifth wheel is the Forest River Cardinal Red, model number 23RK. Has an unloaded vehicle weight of 7,313 pounds, 
The cargo carry capacity of 1,962 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 9,275 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,215 pounds. It measures in at 29 feet 4 inches long and it can sleep up to 4 people. When you first walk into this fifth wheel on the right hand side, up the stairs is where the bathroom and owner's bedroom are located. Then we wrap on around through the living area and finally in the back of this trailer is where the kitchen is located. Our first impression when we walked into this fifth wheel is that, you know, wow, this just feels really, really good. I love the way that they've integrated both the living space and the dining space. And the way they've done it is a terrific way in our opinion. First of all, this whole area is in a big slide out. So it just creates all this floor space in here, but you have your couch here and then you have your dinette here. And from either location, you can easily watch TV or see the fireplace. So the way they've sort of set everything up in here just makes a whole lot of sense to us. So I'll just get started right here. You can see they, they have like built-ins here all around the entertainment center. Up top here, they have these beautiful doors with black glass inlays where you have plenty of storage up top. Then we have some open storage on each side of the TV location, a little open storage above your fireplace and then there's a cabinet on each side for additional storage. So here we are just around the corner from the entertainment center and I'm sitting on these really nice comfy couches here. Each one has a little cup holder on the end. You can grab the little pull string here. I like the fact that they're not electric. It's just one less thing that can break in your RV, <laughs> but you know, it's just simple. It works great and you can still recline back really, really far. It's nice and comfy in these recliners. So this is really great. There's also a window on the one side and a nice big window behind me here to get all kinds of natural lighting in here. And so it feels nice and bright and spacious. Now on this side of the sofa, there's a little end table here. And on the front of the end table, you'll find a couple of USB ports and an electrical receptacle as well. Now just past the sofa is where the kitchen begins and it begins with the refrigerator. So this is a nice Furion refrigerator that's in here. It's about 10 cubic feet. This is a 12 volt fridge. So you get plenty of room for all of your refrigerator and freezer storage needs. And then right next to that, you've got your pantry cabinets, one above and one below with plenty of storage in there. Now they did something really cool underneath the refrigerator. They left it open under here and mm -hmm. There's a little step stool here. So if you need a little help getting to some of the higher cabinets, there you go. You have a nice convenient step stool available for you. Now, as we continue to wrap around, you'll notice they have a really nice wine rack up top here. Below that is your microwave oven. As we keep on wrapping around, you've got all these cabinets here with tons and tons of storage inside. Now, when we were running through this unit, Susan made the comment that, hey, wait a minute. There's no dividers between all these cabinets. It's open all the way around from one end to the other. So you might be wondering, why are there no dividers between the cabinets or even backs to the cabinets? Well, there's pluses and minuses to everything. And the reason there are no dividers between the cabinets is because it helps to lower the amount of weight in this fifth wheel. They do the same thing in travel trailers and all types of RVs to cut down on the weight. The downside of that is when you're driving around, you know, stuff can slide around inside your cabinets. So you'll want to use a bunch of bins or things like that to store things. So even if they slide a little bit, they don't get jostled too much. So all this is a very nice setup. And then we drop down to the countertop level and there is a ton of countertop space in here. First of all, we have a nice window over top of this end of the countertop. Then in the corner back here, there is a receptacle. So if you want to set up any kind of a kitchen appliance, you can imagine you've got a plug in right there. Then we have a nice big single bowl deep sink with a gooseneck faucet and a separate sprayer. So that's terrific. We also have another window over the kitchen sink, which is always great to let in that natural light. As we move along here, we come to the three burner cooktop and this just folds up and you can access your burners there. Down below, it also has a real oven, so you can pop a pizza in there and enjoy your evening. Down below that, there's a door that drops down and you can store pots and pans or larger items under there. Whoops, got the dish towel stuck. Then next to that, we've got some drawers for all of your kitchen utensils. And as we keep wrapping around, I mean, there's just more and more and more storage 
under all of these cabinets and countertop areas. And finally, you have another bank of drawers for even more kitchen utility or kitchen utensil storage. So here I am at the dinette table in here. And you know, this is a perfect dinette for two people. In fact, this entire fifth wheel is really just set up for two people to live in it but very, very comfortably. So the dinette has a nice L shape to it. One person sits here, the other person sits here. Both of us can watch TV and enjoy the fireplace. Again, it's just a fantastic setup in here, but there's more to it than that. This is the coolest dinette ever, and let me show you why. I am sitting on something that I know you'll really enjoy. Let's check it out. You remove this cushion right here, and underneath, you have cornhole boards that are stored in here. You can remove these, take them outside, set them up and play some cornhole. And guess what? If you do that, you can still use the dinette because underneath of the seat cushion, it's got plywood in it. So even if the cornhole boards aren't in place, you can still put your cushions in place and be able to use your dinette. Now, in addition to that, underneath of the dinette booth on both ends, they have these baskets here, so you have a little bit of extra storage. Pull out your basket, and that way everything is very easily accessible. Another really, really great feature about this dinette is that it is on the camp side of this fifth wheel, and you've got this gigantic window here. So in addition to having all this natural light coming in, when you look out, you're seeing the campsite of your campsite. So you can see your fire ring, your picnic table, all that good stuff. It's just a great spot to have the dinette set up. So here we are in the bedroom in the very front of this fifth wheel, and it's a good sized bedroom. I love, right away you're just drawn to this big headboard area behind the bed where you've got some electrical receptacles, USB ports. Man, if you have any kind of electric devices at all that you need, or maybe a CPAP machine, you could stick it all up there and be very comfortable in bed while your devices are charging. Now, this is a good sized bed in here. Let's see what size this is. All right, this is 80 inches by ooh, 66 inches. So we have a king size bed in here, which is just a great feature for those of you folks that like to spread out or roll around a lot at night while you're sleeping. Now overhead, you've got two really big storage cabinets up top. And then on each side, you have a wardrobe cabinet where you can hang your garments and there's still storage even down below that. Now under this bed, you can lift it up and there's plenty of storage under there as well. There's also a window on each side of the bedroom so you can get some cross ventilation going on in here. And finally, there's this nice closet setup. Now, I've not seen this before, but they just left some uh, open shelving in here. I don't know if these bins come with the RV or not, but honey, what do you think of them? I like them. Thumbs up for you. Yes. Now, I know we use these in our RV too. You can buy these kinds of bins at Walmart pretty cheap. What are they, five, six, seven bucks? Something like that. So, you know, you can use them however you like in here, even if they're not included. It's, it's a cool idea. They might have just set it up this way as decoration since we're at an RV show, but it's a neat idea of how you could set up your closet space. And then finally, right next to the closet is where your TV would be mounted. You can see you've got your cable and an electrical outlet up top. Mount your TV here and it's in a perfect location to lay in bed and drift off to sleep at night. Now here I am in the bathroom and I'm standing in the shower like I usually am. And if you've seen any of our other videos, you know that I am five feet, 11 inches tall. Now some people say, is that with or without your tennis shoes? It's without. So I got a, you know, an inch of margin of error since I have my tennis shoes on. So there you go. Now I'm standing in here right now and let's check the headroom up into the skylight. Wow, you have six feet, 10 inches up into the skylight. And the normal ceiling height in here is about six feet, five inches. So if you're a taller person, you're gonna be able to take a shower in here and not have to you know, hunch down a little bit to be able to fit in the shower. Now the shower stall itself is a very, very good size. It's a little wider than what we normally see. And so it feels nice and spacious. You've got a sprayer up top here and then some corner shelves in both corners for your shampoo and soap. And finally, it's got a retractable shower door. These things are great. You use them, you fold them away, and there you go. No curtain, no fuss, no muss, easy peasy. Outside of the shower is where the vanity and medicine cabinet are located. Now this medicine cabinet is kind of built into the wall here. So you have some open storage down below 
and some closed storage above. Really nice oversized mirror in here over top of the vanity. And then you have some extra countertop space around a very good size vanity sink. Beautiful faucet in place. And then down below that, there's open storage for additional towels or things like that that you want to keep in your bathroom. I also do want to mention that there is a receptacle located just above the countertop. So if you need to plug in your hair dryer or shaver, that's very conveniently located. Now, in the commode area, there's a couple of towel hooks located here. And then when I'm sitting on the commode, even with the door closed, there's plenty of room in here. It feels nice and big. I'm almost passing the elbow test on this side, but no problem on my left. Outside, there's even pass-through storage from one side to the other for all your RV gear. There's also lights inside of here, and there's a receptacle and cable outlet in case you want to watch some TV outside. Here we are at the very back of this fifth wheel, and there's another storage spot back here. Now, this is a finished storage area, and it has a receptacle here. So this is a perfect spot to go ahead and put in a compact fridge so you can access sodas, waters, beer, whatever you want to keep outside in the fridge. This fifth wheel is the Highland Ridge Open Range Roamer Light Duty Model Number 244RLS. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 7,680 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,820 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 9,500 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,330 pounds. It measures in at 28 feet, 4 inches long, and it sleeps up to 4 people. When you first walk into this fifth wheel, on the right-hand side, up the steps, is where the bathroom and the owner's bedroom are located. As we wrap on around, we're in the kitchen area, and in the very back of this camper is where the living room is. Now, our first impression when we walked into this camper, and I'm going to quote Susan, who said, you know, if we had a fifth wheel, I think we could live in this. And it feels really, really great. Uh, we love the fact that it's got opposing slides here in the main living area, so it gives a lot of width in here. And we also really like the kitchen island setup. So uh, this just feels like a really great fifth wheel under 30 feet long that you you could definitely live in here if you wanted to. Now the kitchen in here is just really, really great. I love the cabinetry in here. It's got that, you know, that glazed finish with the dark lines along the insets and the cabinets. It gives you a very nice upscale residential feel in here for sure. Now starting up top here, We've got tons and tons of cabinet space, and it's all open behind here, behind all these cabinet doors, so you can access everything very, very easily. Then we've got a microwave up top here, and then down below that, you've got your range hood, and then you have a nice three burner stove, lots of countertop space on either side, and I really like this backsplash. It just looks, you know, really, really nice in here. And then, of course, below your cooktop, You've got a separate oven so you can throw a pizza in there or bake up cookies or whatever you'd like to do. And then on this side, there's a bank of drawers for your kitchen utensils. Under the oven, there's a really nice deep, big uh, drawer for all your pots and pans. And then a couple more drawers on this side as well. I'd also like to point out that underneath the cabinets on each side, there is a receptacle underneath. There's also a light underneath. Right now we're at the, the Hershey show. We're a little early and the lights and power's not on yet. So we can't turn on everything for you, but trust me, they're there. Um, but anyway, if you had a coffee pot and a toaster, you'd be able to plug them in up here. If you had a crock pot or an air fryer, you can plug it in up here. So plenty of outlets to be able to run all your cooking appliances. So as we wrap on around through the kitchen, we come to the refrigerator here. This is a good size fridge for this size unit. I mean, it has a nice big separate freezer and refrigerator. So plenty of room for here in here for all your cold storage. The pantry in here is outstanding. I mean, it's behind this door, which again has a glass inset in it, and it just looks really, really nice. There's a few shelves in here, so there's tons and tons of storage for all your dry storage needs. Now, the island itself is a really great setup. It has a big gooseneck faucet over top with a separate sprayer, and then it has this gigantic single bowl sink right here in the middle, so you can wash all your pots and pans. On this side, there are a couple of cabinet doors and drawers that you can use for all kinds of storage. It even has a trash can drawer. It's even got a dish drain thing that can go on your dish drain and you can keep your cutting board in here. So just very nicely organized and put together. There's also a little drawer that just flips out. You can keep like a sponge in here, things like that for cleaning up 
in the kitchen and then you've got even more drawers down below that. So another really nice feature about the island is it is sort of your dinette in here. There's no dinette table in here. So you can just sit here on these chairs and have a meal right on your island. The TV is in a perfect spot to be able to sit here and watch TV. Uh, and there's also a receptacle on each side of the island. And so, you know, if you set up your blender here and you're making margaritas, you can just plug it right into the side of the island and you are all set and ready to go. So here's where the TV is located. It's in a great spot for watching TV from either the, the kitchen island or the couch or this couch. So perfectly placed. Now this TV does come out and it will swing around a little bit. And also I'll try to move it as best I can, but there is a lot of additional storage behind the TV here. So you can take advantage of that. Maybe throw, you know, pillows or blankets or things like that back there. Now down below, Look at the size of this storage cabinet. I mean, there's a ton of space down there. Now, personally, I kind of wish maybe they included a fireplace in here because there's already so much storage. I think we can do without this cabinet and have a nice fireplace there that you can enjoy from your couch, but it is what it is. In the back of this room, you have a really nice comfy couch here and you can relax, you can lay on here and watch TV, take it easy but this also converts into another bed. So let me show you how that works. First thing we gotta do is get rid of all the pillows. Watch out, honey, coming through. Oh, I hit you. <laughs> and um, so the way this works is you grab this strap down here and just try to pull it up and out. But since it's in the middle, it's kind of hard because it kind of pulls, you know, it leaves one end or the other end behind. But then you grab the back of the sofa, pull it down, and there you go. You have a nice bed out here. Now let's get a measurement on this and see how much we're working with. It looks pretty big, actually. <clears throat> so that's about 74 inches by 48 inches. So, you know, an adult could sleep on here. Certainly two kids would be able to sleep on here and you'd be nice and comfortable. Now, another really nice thing about this area is the big giant window in the back. You can open that up and get plenty of breeze through here. There's also a window on each side. And then you have this big gigantic storage area up top. It's one big area with four cabinet doors that you can access. One more nice thing to point out about this couch is that on each side, there is a little end table and there's a receptacle and USB ports. So you can plug in and charge up your computer, iPhone, tablet, whatever you happen to have. Now here I am sitting on the other couch that's in the family room and this couch can be used two different ways as well, which is great. I love things that are multifunctional because you just get so much more use out of the space. Now this is a recliner and it also serves sort of as a dinette if you don't want to eat at the kitchen island. So it's got these little end tables that swing around and these are really simple. All they are is this little plastic piece that fits into your cup holder and they're really steady and nice. I mean, we've seen other types of uh, end tables in the RV shows in the past and I could tell they were trying to figure out how to make this work, but this setup is by far the best. It's the stablest setup that we've seen so far and it's very simple. Now you can leave these in place or you can remove them and store them away in a closet somewhere. Um, you know, this is a perfect spot to be able to eat dinner, have a snack, watch TV. You know, you could even sit here and work on your computer if you were working and be nice and comfy. But the real use for this is that these are recliners. Now they're electric recliners, so I can't put them out because there's no power in the camper right now. We're here early and they're not quite all set up yet, but uh, they do recline back and you can relax here. And then the middle piece folds out. You've got a couple of cup holders here, and then you have a receptacle and some USB ports in the middle. And then on each side of this, and I'll show it over here, maybe Susan can see it better, but that's where your controls are to make your recliner go up and down. And there's another USB right in there as well. So, man, I don't know. I don't know if you need one, two, three, four of them here, but if you do, you got them. Another great thing about this slide out is it's got a really nice big window behind us here, plus a window on each side. We've got most of the windows open in here right now because it's nice and hot, but we're getting a good breeze through here and it feels really nice. Now, originally when I saw this little strap here, I thought, wow, this must pop out into a bed, but 
No, it's just a drawer. <laughs> it really fooled me. I've never seen one like this, but this drawer pulls on out and you have some extra storage down there too. All right, so here we are in the very front of this fifth wheel and this is where the owner's bedroom is located. Now, it's a nice big feeling in here and it's nice and bright in here too. So it feels really good. And I have to say, these are the biggest end tables I've ever seen in any RV much, you know, that we've ever walked through. They're huge. It's kind of cool, just like being at home. So let's check and see what size bed we have in here. This is just about 80 inches and I think it's 60 inches wide. Nope. Yep, 60 inches wide. So this would be considered a residential queen size bed in here. Like I mentioned, on each side there is an end table. As you can see, there's a receptacle and a little USB port on each side. And then under the end table, there are a couple of drawers that pull out as well, so you can store things there. Up top here, as you can see, it's one big open storage area that you can access from all three of these doors. Hello, no monsters under the bed here, but tons and tons of storage space. Now, at the end of this bed, here is where your wardrobe closet is located. It has nice mirror doors on here. And then up top, there's a bar where you can hang all of your garments. Down below that, there's a couple of really nice oversized drawers, really nice and deep, so you can store away all of your clothes. And then finally, this is where your TV would mount on the wall. It's perfect position to watch TV in bed and drift off to sleep at night. Just above, you've got your cable antenna and electrical rough-ins. So here we are in the bathroom, which is just at the top of the steps and before you go into the owner's bedroom. And this is a great size bathroom. It feels really nice and roomy in here. Now, as you guys know, I'm 5'11 and I'm here standing in the shower. And this particular shower is really set right on the floor. It's very unusual to see this. Many times the showers are popped up off the floor to allow for the drain to work below. But in this shower, it seems to work just sitting on the floor. Now the ceiling height in here is 79 inches or six feet seven inches and the regular ceiling height in this part of the rv which would include this bathroom and the bedroom is about six feet five inches so for you folks that are really tall the bathroom and bedroom area are going to be a problem for you the rest of the fifth wheel is great because the ceilings are super high out there now this shower feels really nice and big to me I feel very comfortable standing here. It doesn't have a glass shower door, but it does have this shower curtain on a track and the track bows out into the bathroom. And so it gives you a little more room while you're in the shower. Behind me here, there are three shelves in the corner for your soap and shampoo. Now, just outside of the shower, there's a really, really nice vanity area here. Up top, we have a double medicine cabinet that's mirrored on both sides. Plenty of room for storage in here. Down below that, you've got this really nice wooden countertop, nice size sink, very nice faucet, extra countertop space, receptacle right above so it's easy to access. You can plug in your hair dryer, curling iron, shaver, whatever you've got to get ready in the morning. You are good to go. Down below that, got a little drawer for some storage here, and then a couple of doors with extra storage below. So here I am sitting on the commode, and some of you make fun of me when I call it a commode, so I'll call it a toilet too. It's a commode slash toilet. Take your pick. Anyway, here I am sitting on it. Plenty of room in here. I don't feel claustrophobic at all, and we are going to pass the elbow test even with the door closed. So here we are at the very front of this fifth wheel outside, and there is some storage right here in the front under this door, which is really nice and accessible. As you can see, there are actually propane cylinders in here instead of one big propane tank. And so I would imagine that would make it fairly easy to replace or, you know, get a refill because you can buy um, canisters anywhere you go. You know, Home Depot, a lot of places sell them. So it would make life a lot easier. Let us know if you prefer having propane cylinders or if you want a built-in propane tank in your RV. It's a little harder to find propane with the tank that's built in because you have to find one of those places where you can get it filled up. Um, so let us know in the comments below what you think about that. And there's even a little bit more storage right over here where you have a nice big pass-through storage area for all your RV gear. Hey guys, let us know which one of these fifth wheels you like the most and why in the comments down below. We would love to hear your feedback and see your thoughts on all these amazing fifth wheels. But if you'd like to check out even more fifth wheels, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.